The top story is the Queensland Premier Anna Bly has vowed to put in place all recommendations from the interim report from the flood inquiry. The report found there was confusion between water management agencies and recommends more training for emergency services and triple zero operators. The interim report gives over 100 recommendations. They also include warning sirens in small towns, social media alerts and a reduction of Wyvernhoe dam levels to 75 per cent during severe wet weather. Republican and Democrat leaders in America have reached a last-minute deal to raise the government's debt ceiling and avoid an unprecedented default. The agreement, announced by the US President Barack Obama, will be presented to both houses of Congress in the next 24 hours. The Federal Treasurer Wayne Swan says the government here is closely monitoring the situation. Germany has formally requested an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council to discuss the Syrian government's deadly offensive against demonstrators. At least 100 people have reportedly been killed across the country in the government's latest crackdown on dissent. And the Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, has played down suggestions that factional leaders told the South Australian Premier, Mike Rand, to quit. Education Minister Jay Weatherall has been publicly endorsed by some MPs, but others have refused to comment ahead of a state cabinet meeting.